Well, this is the gratitude and uh, holidays uh, series that we're doing for 14 November 2022. So we're going to talk about being prepared, which, <laughs> as you all know, that can be a challenge for for being prepared for the holidays. They can the holidays can really throw a monkey wrench in your plans. So genuous genuineness is what I'd like to speak about first. Never um, fake appreciation or um, gratitude for a gift. Be genuine in, in, in your thankfulness. And have you started thinking about gifts? <laughs> Man, I can already see some eyes rolling up at the ceiling. I know exactly what you're talking about. Used to be the same way. But several years ago, my wife and I started a change in their thinking instead of being all stressed out you know november and right up to christmas trying to get gifts and go out and find deals well we started buying christmas gifts in january yep we found out through the year what uh, people on our christmas list wanted and through the year as we see items that uh, pertain to that list or that person then we would buy them many times in fact, I'd say most of the time we would fi find them on sale during the year. I mean, really on sale, not at Christmas when they jack the price up and reduce it 50%. <laughs> I mean, they were really on sale. So it had two positive effects. One was we weren't stressed out during the holidays, any holiday. But it was birthday, anniversary, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, Easter, whatever. And two, saved us a whole lot of money. So that's just a tip. Uh, I would I would say start buying your Christmas gifts for your uh, family, friends, whatever. In January and uh, and wrap them. You know, start wrapping them up. Make a list of each person. Wrap it. You know what's in it. Uh, wrap it up. And then at that when it's Christmas time, man, your last minute preparations might take you what an hour. <laughs> And, and you're done and budget you know that's not a bad word budgeting is very very important when it comes to Christmas gifts you need to look at your finances currently not think about what I'm gonna get in the future what are your finances now all right group people into groups some family co-workers friends extended family miscellaneous then look at your total income make sure all your obligations are taken care of then see how much discretionary in other words discretionary you don't need it discretionary income you have for the year break it down you know by the month and by the week is what i do then you know how much money you have total Take care of your family first, all the things you want to get for them that you can. Then whatever's left, that money can be divided however you choose between friends, co-workers, uh, you know, people that are not family related. Always do family first. And this isn't cheaping out. This is being wise with your money. Never, never never go into debt to buy gifts never go into debt to buy gifts <sighs> you know the people that you go into debt to buy that big time gift or whatever they feel good for a while <laughs> but next month's coming <laughs> that's when reality is going to smack you in the face <laughs> let me get on through this I've got you need to you need to go to www.patreon.com slash a step above become a gold member get my life notes newsletters every week with five decades of accumulation of everything i've read heard seen conferences workshops seminars just videos everything i've ever e experienced and then also the Think about the tens of thousands of dollars that you're not going to have to spend. I've already spent it to learn all of this stuff so that I can help you. And that's my job is to help each of you. 
uh, expectations, you know, I'm going to let you know right now, <laughs> if you don't know already, sometimes people, and remember, children are people, don't forget that, have greater expectations for a gift from you than your pocketbook <laughs> can comfortably afford. I don't, if you've got anyone on your list that you feel you have to get them some kind of big gift, you're not operating out of love, you're operating out of fear. Uh, is it good for, uh, I'm going to use kids for example, your adult children to combine together to get the parents a bigger gift? Well sure, because none of them are bearing the load of that big gift by themselves but it's not healthy to uh, try to be mr and mrs big time and uh, get this big gift because you think that uh, they expect it of you uh, no parent i don't think brother or sister or our children older children <laughs> really expect you to get these big time things, their wishes, their hopes, their dreams, their desires, and you need to look at it that way. Let me run on here. Um, I'm going to shoot to the end of my newsletter. It's just too much information in this newsletter. Take charge. Ready yourself for the holidays. Take note. Be alert to your spending. Alert. Evaluate. Know why. Why you are buying the gift you're buying for the person for whom you're buying it. Seek. Be certain your gifts are not bribes. A gift shows you care about a person. It shouldn't be a bribe for you to get on their good side or do something for you or for them. Okay, that's it for this week. Make it a fantastic week. Look forward to the holidays. Have fun with your families and get-togethers and you know, Thanksgiving's right around the corner and then Christmas, so enjoy every moment and don't be stressed out.